And happy Sunday there, YouTube, as it's end of June and uh, 2021, and it's the sun's really coming down on me today. I've got kind of a special one here. Uh, this one here probably going to generate some salt from some of the people that are near me, and I think Fra or Craig, or not Craigslist, Facebook, is probably going to be my undoing, as this one's coming from Facebook. So we're taking a look at it here. Um, the question is, is this an NYPD Aero Twin? Or is this not an NYPD Aero Twin? To the unobserved, or the ones that are that, that don't know, I would my first guess would be yes, because I see the domes. The domes are NYPD color domes. A couple of things that are interesting. Um, the end screws here are not flatheads. They're actually security scale or security screws. I've seen that before with other agencies. I don't know if New York ever actually did that. Uh, it's very possible they did, as I know LA did it with their, some of their bars. They didn't want people tam or, uh, tampering with their domes on the inside, so they, they switched to security screws. But just taking a quick look at this as I do the 180, uh, is this or is this not an MYPD Aero Twin? I can answer that. Uh, I haven't even looked inside the bar. This is a first look for me. I haven't even opened it up yet. I can answer it. Uh, can you? And if you can, what are the giveaways? Well, I'll show you two of them, and then we'll open this bar up, and we'll take a look at it further as we go through a first look on this. Number one, drive motor right there. So the motor is facing you. Usually it's facing rearwards on all other aerodynamics, which means this has been flipped around. That is correct. That also means that power is coming out of the passenger side, which is also correct. So right now, without opening this up, I'm going to go that this is actually an MYPD bar. Uh, give me a second here. Let's let's pop her open and we'll see what the deal is. And actually before I do that, also interesting, there's a speaker on here or in here. This bar needs to go on a diet. Uh, I want to say it's a TS100. The sun might be killing the glare here. You might not be able to see that. Uh, but there is one. You can kind of see it a little bit right there in the, uh, in the middle of the screen. It's a TS100, so it's just interesting. Um, I don't usually find bars with speakers in them anymore, let alone NYPD bars with speakers. So let's go ahead and pop this open and take a look at it. And with the magic of a little bit of video editing, I've gotten the domes off. They're chilling over here. And uh, not in bad shape. Needs to be cleaned up, some buffing. And here's the light itself now that we've got the domes off. Naked bar now, if you want to call it that. Uh, first giveaway, obviously, is... NYPD bars didn't have blue. It's a blue lamp. I know that the rotators work and spin. I've tested this already. We got clear on the other side. Wrong lamps for the flashers. Uh, these, I believe, should be 4414s. They should be floodlights, not spots. So those are incorrect. Uh, I can also tell you the reason why the flashers don't work, because if you look very closely, uh, you can see, as I spin around here, and it is not on this side, so this side should be fine. So let's go ahead over here to the other side. We'll see we have, again, wrong wrong lamps there. I'm not sure what those are, but they should be floods. But here is the issue with the flasher. So your onboard flasher should mount there. You'll note that this wire right here has been cut, and this wire is also cut. So I'm assuming that wire goes to the other side of the lights, i.e. there. And this side goes to the flasher. Well, the flasher's gone, so these lights are not going to work. The guy that I picked this up from didn't know why the flashers weren't working. Uh, quick open up, and you'll see why it's actually missing the whole section. Uh, as we go through here, and as I work along, there's dirt. Another blue lamp. I'm not sure if there's a blue blue fluted lamp. I was going to say that's a an 11, maybe a, a 7400, but I don't think so. That, that looks a little different. I'm not sure what that is, but we've got another blue lamp over here clear on the other side uh, coming across let's look at the tag tag is real dirty I use my finger to clean that off and we have one that reads model 24 RMVF 2Z so this would in fact be an arrow or a NYPD aerodynamic that's actually not bad especially uh, for a quick little find on the, uh, the Facebook and again I think Facebook is gonna be the death of me not been on there very long I'm not a big fan of Facebook but in the very brief amount of time that I've been on it I found more things and the missus was ready to kill me every time I bring something back so get ready for that you might see the uh, fire sale because of the missus <laughs> anyway in a nutshell that's it um, just a quick run around we know what NYPD bars look like this is one that's just coming in uh, in the wild one that I just found it is complete it's missing a flasher uh, the bulbs need to be replaced and it needs a cleaning 
I know it spins up. Um, what I think I'll do here is at the end of the video is we'll go ahead and spin it up just to show you that it does in fact work and that I do have my work cut out for me. So without further ado, let's see if we can get this running. And as promised, let's see if we can actually get this thing spinning up for you. There we go. So again, there won't be any flashers. The, the flashers are not connected. There is no flasher and the wiring's been cut, but she spins. Um, this is white blue, <laughs> not white red, which is usually found. Interesting because, you know, blue lamps and all, running pretty quiet. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't complain about that actually. It's the motor probably doesn't need a lot of work other than a cleaning. The domes do need to go back on it at some point. Uh, but that's it. In a nutshell, I'll keep this one quick because the sun is brutal today and I'm actually, some, I'll be surprised uh, if this video comes out somewhat presentable considering it's blasting me right in the face. And that's it in a nutshell. So there's my uh, in the wild uh, NYPD Aero Twin confirmed in the wild. I do need to get some feet for it. The nice thing is, is that if you look at the bottom of the light, um, right where my fingers are pointing, uh, you can see that the mounts are there. So the mounts are there. That's cool. Um, I may have some tube feet. If not, I might be on the hunt for some tube feet. I'll have to take a look and see what's going on. This light will add to my list of lights that need a little bit of loving before they can go back out there. Uh, but again, great starting point, uh, great find, and uh, hopefully I'll have an update on this sooner rather than later. Thanks a lot.